welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to talk about one point perspective and we're going to be drawing a hallway using one point perspective. So I think it's good to draw the interior of buildings, that's a good practice. Um, it'll be something kind of like this, uh, but I want to kind of show you how to make these doors so they're evenly spaced apart. So, and hallways. So this is a hallway, this is a door, this is the kind of thing we're going to do. This would also be the same technique if you were drawing a room. You need a pencil, something to draw with, paper, and a ruler. You can always eyeball it if you don't want to use a ruler, but I definitely recommend using a ruler. Let me fix my microphone. All right, so for this, I'm going to be drawing the vanishing point maybe in the middle. Why not? So this is going to be our viewpoint or our, um, our horizon line or our line of sight, right? So this is like parallel to our eyes. And I'm just going to put the vanishing point right in the middle for this one, just to make it a little bit more easy. Let me zoom in so you can see my whole paper. All right, so what I want you to do first is we're going to kind of be drawing almost like we're walking down a hallway right here, and then this is a hallway that comes off of it. So we're going to be drawing almost like a box. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's make sure this is in focus. So this would be a wall that's facing us. This would be, and I'm making these lines as perpendicular or straight up and down as I can. I'm not, I don't draw with a ruler very often, so this is a good practice for me. So this is like a ceiling, for some reason the hallway that we're in has a taller ceiling than the hallway that we're drawing. That just happened. And you could even just draw a box if you want, if this hallway, if this box right here is too complicated for you, you can just start out with this. And if it drives you nuts how uneven these lines are and how this one's, uh, wait, not as wide as this side, then you can use your ruler to make it match. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna just define where, where is the wall in this hallway? This is a really wide hallway, super, super wide, but it's because I wanted to show you how to make hallways, whatever. So we need to define the bottom of the floor, where the wall meets the floor. And we just do that by bringing this corner right here all the way back to our vanishing point. And then this corner right here all the way back to our vanishing point, the bottom left. So you could have this hallway continuing so like you're standing in it without this wall. I don't know why, I just like to have it. And then the ceiling is gonna start here and here. Where the ceiling meets the wall, this is the line that we're making right now, this corner. And then let's do this one right here. And let's say maybe this hallway is strange, it just goes on forever. If it ended, you know, you could just draw where it ended right here. And that would be great. Maybe we should draw like an ending of a hallway. But I wanna show you how to draw these doors and hallways so that they are the same distance apart. So I'm just going to not do that. This is a great practice. If you wanna learn how to draw like telephone poles or a checkered floor, I'm going to show you how to make them the same distance apart. All right, now our doors do not come all the way to the top of the ceiling. They probably start about right here. So I'm going to just draw a light line showing where the doors are coming back and maybe the tops of these hallways. I'm sorry about this thing in the background. I don't know how much of that you'll be able to hear really. All right, so this is where our doors start. So if you get confused between these two lines. Our first doorway is on this right side and kind of close to the wall. So I'm drawing a line, I'm trying to keep it parallel to that, just straight up and down perpendicular. And this one, I'm just trying to figure out how big it is, how wide it is. I don't really have a picture, so I'm just guessing. If this was a real doorway, it would come back a little bit, right? I'm gonna exaggerate this a little bit. These lines need to be um, horizontal, so matching this top line. And then where, and then definitely I'm just gonna make this thickness right here of the door. This, I guess, is like a door jam, you know, and then the door is gonna start right here. Here's the bottom of the door. Here is the top of the door. 
Oh no, my ruler just moved. I shouldn't have drawn that so dark. <laughs> Okay, and there is a doorway in there. I'm just gonna erase this bottom line so we can see it. Coming back in, I'm gonna erase this line and this line so you can see. Here is a door. So a little piece that goes back in. Now, let's say that I want to have a hallway right here next to it, but I want it to be the same um, width as the doorway and I want it to be the same distance from the door that the door is wide, if that makes sense. So I want like, the doors and the spaces between the doors and hallways to be the same, but since we're drawing a perspective drawing, they're gonna get smaller and smaller as they go back towards this vanishing point. So how do we decide um, where to make that? Well, what we need, we're using this shape, we're going to draw an X from this top corner to the bottom corner and from this corner to this corner. So use your ruler and draw an X. So we're really, what we need to do is find the middle of this. This might be a little bit advanced. I don't know. I don't know how many of you drawing have drawn perspective before. So now that we have the middle, I'm gonna use that point and draw a line back to the vanishing point. We are going to be using this. So where this line hits this shape, that is where we're going to be drawing a line from the top corner down or the bottom corner up, it really doesn't matter. And wherever that line hits, that's where our hallway is gonna start. So watch this. This is where the middle line hits. So I'm gonna draw a line from, I'm just gonna go from the bottom to the top, why not? This bottom corner right here, through where that line intersects this line, so where the line going back intersects this line, and then it's gonna be right there. So this is where this hallway is going to be. And it's equally, it's like this width apart, if that makes sense, just getting smaller. Hallways are way easier than doorways. So watch this. Now, how, how do we know how wide to make the hallway? That's easy. I'm just gonna come from this corner now through where this line intersects this line and use my ruler to draw a line up. Or you could go down, really. I don't think it matters. Hopefully, someone that's really good at perspective isn't watching this like, what? This doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Okay, so here is our hallway. Now to draw a hallway, we can see the ceiling, right? Almost like we can see part of the top of this door jam. We can see part of the ceiling in here and we can see the wall. And we're going to just make a horizontal line where this hits for the wall that we can see in there and then a horizontal line where this hits. I'm having a hard time drawing a horizontal line right there. So this is a hallway that's kind of carved out. I'll erase these lines so you can see it better. So we have a door, we have a hall, and now maybe we want another door, and maybe we want it like two spaces further. So we could do that. We're just going, we have this line still and where it intersects. So we're gonna draw a line up. And then we could either draw a door or a hallway, or we could wait to, but let's just draw a door. Why not? We already have the lines there. And then if we're like, oh, but how wide should our door be? We just use that same center line, draw a line down from the bottom and up. If this is kind of blowing your mind, just bear with me. We're just going to do three. We're not gonna continue on down the hall, but you see how they're slowly getting smaller. Let's just erase this so you can see. Oh, they're getting a little bit smaller. And maybe you kind of get the whole, the way to do it right now and you can just continue on. And if you do, that's great, just continue. I'm just gonna do a doorway, a door in here. So I'm just gonna draw a horizontal line over, a vertical line up. And then I'm going to draw just that top ceiling part we can see there and then the bottom part of the door. So let me oh. zoom in here. So we have a door, a hallway, and a door. All right, now hopefully this is starting to make sense. On this other side, maybe let's do um, a doorway or maybe let's just start with like an artwork. Like maybe there's a painting on this wall. 
or let's do a hallway and then a painting like next to it. And these ones I'm not going to make equally, like space them even like we did this side. I just wanted you to know how to do that. So if this side was a little bit hard for you, this side will be a lot easier because we're just eyeballing this and maybe the top of our artwork is as tall as our door. We're, we're drawing a door, I forgot. <laughs> so here's <laughs> one side of our door, here is the other side of our door and this one I'm gonna make a little bit easier. I'm just gonna bring a line back in, bring a line back in. This is vertical, parallel to that line. And then to make the bottom of the door, we do the same thing we did on the other side, but we're not gonna be doing any of the, um, the crosses through it, finding the center to make it even because we're just gonna draw a painting on the wall over here in this hallway that exists in our mind. So to draw a painting or just maybe there's like, maybe this is a school hallway and there's a big poster up. Maybe it's about that long. So to draw the top and the bottom, we just do the same thing that we did to the hallway. There we go. So we've got this poster on the wall. There you go. Pretty simple. Now, what if we want to draw, like maybe there's a rug in the middle of the hallway and maybe the rug actually um, starts where the hallway starts. Let's just do that, why not? We're gonna draw a rug with just a simple border around it and it's not perfectly in the middle of the hallway. So this is the, the rug that we would, part of the rug we would step on first. So let's draw a line from the side of it back to our vanishing point. And then on this side, down this never ending hallway, because why not? And then I'm just gonna draw like a border around it. I think it gets pretty fun <laughs> to draw like this, but I feel like we need to make this end here. I feel like it should not go on forever. So let's do it. Let's just add a back wall. Sometimes when I'm doing these tutorials, I don't really have like a great plan. <laughs> and I definitely didn't have a plan with this. So let's go ahead and let's draw an end of the hall there. And I'm gonna end this hall on this side trying to make it even. I don't want them to end like, I should have drawn actually the floor. Draw the floor first. If you didn't just follow me, I would draw the floor first because then you know how, where to make these. And then the ceiling and make sure these are parallel lines. These two are parallel, these two are parallel. That's the key really with one point perspective is making sure you keep your lines parallel to each other. And then since this hallway ends, we probably need to end our rug too because it just wouldn't make sense. It just wouldn't make sense for a rug to keep going on forever. Okay, and then I feel like we just need to add a tiny little bit of the end of this. Okay, so here is our hallway. Here's some doors, some hallways that go through, artwork on the wall. Nothing yet is really poking out in this space. Um, but I do, I probably should show you since we're talking about drawing interiors, how would you draw like a chair that's right here? Or let's just draw a table. There's like a, a table in front of this. Think about it. I'm gonna draw it a little bit down. So since this table doesn't exist, it's, I'm just gonna figure out how big it's going to be. So since I can just see the side of it, I'm just gonna figure out how big the side of it's going to be. About like that, okay? So this is the top of this table. This is the side of the top of it. And the legs clearly need to go all the way down to the ground and they are vertical, just straight up and down. As straight as I can be. I wish I was had like a triangle. Let's just pretend that that is straight. It's definitely not, but let's just pretend. I need to make the top a little bit flatter. Sorry, none of this was practiced before. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, if you want to learn to draw perspective, what would be helpful? Okay, 
And there's the top of the table. Now to draw the end of the table, I kind of want it to end where this artwork ends, so I'm just gonna draw a line there. Okay. Oh, but it would still probably go out in front of it. So that's where the back corner is gonna end. All right, so I still need my vanishing point, which I luckily can still see even though I erased it. And I'm gonna draw this side, the back side of the top of the table right there, and then the back side of the table right here. And then I want this to be as long as this artwork right there, so I know it's gonna end. This corner is gonna end right there. So then I'm just gonna make a line right here that is parallel with this line right there. And then this is where it will come down and we will get this other, the front side of this buffet or table, you know, whatever this is. I don't even really know what I'm drawing. Oh, and then I want the feet of the table to line up. So I'm actually gonna draw where the bottom of this leg is and the bottom of this leg because I know it's out just a little bit. So then I know where this needs to end. And I could have drawn these legs maybe in a little bit more perspective, but. Okay, so there is our table, our nice buffet table in the hallway, if that helps, I don't even know. And there's a vase on that table with some flowers, because why not? And there is a painting in here of a landscape. <laughs> All right, so now what I want you to do is go to your, in your apartment, in your house, wherever you are right now, and a lot of you are inside, uh, hopefully, and go ahead and draw a hallway. So you could decide you know, what you want to be there. Do you want, maybe this is a window. This is a, a really cool house that has like a window at the end of the hall is weird I think I don't know but use one point perspective so you want to be in the middle of the hallway looking down you don't want to be looking at the corner of a wall because remember we're drawing one point perspective so we want to look at the front of something like this would be we're facing it you don't want to look at the corner of like one of these halls otherwise it's going to throw you into two point perspective and it might be a little bit hard you could add lights you could add whatever you want to these maybe some doorknobs I don't know what side they would be on without really looking around but have fun with this it one point perspective can be really fun and especially to draw hallways when i was a teacher i would just send my students out around the school and they would just start drawing um, the hallways which was really fun maybe maybe it was just fun for me to think it was fun i don't know i always liked to leave the classroom for a little walk around field trip when i was in school but have fun with this. I hope you have a great day. I'd love to see your work on Instagram. Post it to Instagram using hashtag Mr. Otter Studio. Also, I'd like to know your specific um, perspective questions. I'm definitely looking at them now. When this video is a little bit older, I probably, um, I'm not, I might not be um, paying as much attention to the comments as when I first publish it. Cause that's just the, that's just the nature of the game. I don't really have time to keep going through everything, but I do love your comments. So. Have a wonderful day and hopefully your drawing um, looks a lot better than mine with these weird, not perpendicular lines. And yeah, see you tomorrow.